In this episode we visit an epic decommissioned naval ship. visit a naval ship for our sponsor World of Warships. There are a few on my list for over 10 years. Nobody has explored them yet. Probably because they are located on an active naval base. Sounds like a cool mission, right? <laughs> <laughs> so our military people walking already, so uh, yeah, we should take care of them. It's always the question, is there an entrance? Eh? Otherwise we do all the effort for nothing. But that's always the case of urban exploring. Eh? Uh, yeah. see. It looks doable to get on the ship, so... Uh. The ship is called the Quesne, and is one of the two destroyers in the Suffren class of the French Navy, which served from 1970 until 2007. The ship was developed to protect aircraft carriers against air and submarine attacks. It had a crew of 360 men, including 23 officers. This is how the ship looked like in its full glory. If you like warships, you should definitely check out our sponsor, World of Warships. It's a free PC game and there are over 400 historical warships where you can play with. With this game, you'll learn a lot of warships in a fun way. You can do team-based battles that require different strategy and tactics. As you might know, I explored quite some decommissioned French warships, so it's really cool to see these ships in action, like the cruiser Colbert. The models look fantastic, they are really detailed. And you can even customize your own ships the way you like it. Soon long awaited submarines will be added to the game. I personally can't wait for that. This is my own gameplay. There are many beautiful maps, from tropical islands to scenes in the Arctic. And I noticed even the weather changes during the game. Just have a look at this wonderful setting. Wow. Enemy spotted, time to battle. You use your scopes to aim at your enemy, choose your ammunition, and shoot. What I really like about this game is that you can have the point of view of the ammunition, so you can see warships explode from nearby. Oh yeah! Oh, I got a torpedo alarm. Oh, and as you can see, they just missed my ship. I think I wouldn't have survived it. The ship is in a bad state, but they're still sailing. Victory! Second place in the group, not too bad. So guys, show some love to World of Warships and try the game using the description link below. If you register now and play one battle, you get an exclusive starter pack. You won't regret it. We scout the area and look for possible entrances of the ship, but it looks shut tight. It's clear we can't board during the day, so we wait at the beach. After dinner, we head back to the harbor. Uh, Still swimming <laughs> at the military base, all right. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but... Uh, oh. Okay. Mm. Funny. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to wait uh, for a few more hours. Jesus. It's 10 o'clock. I want to start to paddle, but people are still partying on the boat and eating on the boat. And people are chilling at the naval school or naval base, yeah, I don't know. Some tourists uh, Tourists here, uh, yeah. People chilling at the beach. Right. Oh. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I think we set the alarm clock for 1.30 until Mission Impossible begins. <laughs> Let's hope eh? we get yeah. into the ship. Uh, yeah, let's hope it's possible. Uh, let's yeah. hope nobody sees, it, sees us. Yeah, it's quite obvious. I checked the activity, and even after midnight, ships are getting in and out of the bay. It's going to be a challenge not to get seen. It's uh, half past one. People are still swimming, and there are fishermen near the ships. <laughs> Great. 
got waterproof uh, bags. We shouldn't forget the oxygen meter. All right, I'm just gonna pack that too. <laughs> gonna take a while. Nice shot with the target in the background here. We decide to give it a try. The sea is calm at this point. Oh, it's still hot. It's two o'clock. Maybe even later. Unfortunately, the best adventures are the hardest to record and film. And we want to get on the ship as fast as possible. I climbed the anchor like we did on some other naval ships. And I checked carefully for an entrance. Frank stays in the boat with all the gear in case we fail. Made it on the ship. Now I have to check for an entrance. I hope something is open. I'm really thrilled and excited. And the bad thing is you can't see anything. And there's the naval base. Oh my god, I need an entrance. I find an entrance and we lift up all our gear. Here you can see the Masurka missile launcher. We make a few pictures on the deck and go inside. We made it inside. This time we brought a gas and oxygen meter to uh, stay safe in these confined spaces. Frank knows how these work, so that's good. He's now installing it. I'm really curious. Uh, well, well, so I'm gonna film with my phone. We're just gonna find some kind of home base where we can drop our stuff. I already checked, we have to climb up here and then down again. Should I go up? Yep. Alright, let's go down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold it. Alright, now we have to go in here. And we're already inside. Yeah, I think I went down last time, I don't know. Yeah, I went down. Um, the ship and the oxygen levels are still fine but it's uh, pretty hot in here you see 31 degrees we're enjoying the view with some wine and some French cheese <laughs> great yeah Hola. cheers man what a great adventure I think uh, the Sun comes up soon almost five so we're on the bridge now and we're out of sight so we can just chill outside and we have some light and some fresh air so it's a really cool spot to chill out and hang out so uh, yeah I'm gonna sleep for a few hours and then uh, we're gonna explore the ship I'm really looking forward to it.
hopefully sleep a few hours. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, I think the sun will be burning on us uh, in, a, in a few hours already. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I can't sleep from excitement, and instead, I keep an eye on the activity around the bay. Good morning, guys. It's pretty busy in the harbor, so we have to stay here the whole day. Luckily there are some windows open so we can uh, see the outside. It's pretty nice weather. Yeah, it was uh, the steering. The steering, yeah, the pretty steering. cool. You know, unbelievable actually, a big vessel like this. Uh, with, uh, Just the one little uh, window. Small window. Yeah. Huh. But also in the box to uh, serve the engines. Uh. Sweet. Stop, don't slow. So they could be controlled uh, separately. Yeah, yeah. So also in the engine room, you got normally the same for the uh, chief engineer. Cool. Seen quite some ships, so I hope to see something uh, new. Mm -hmm. We enter the combat information center and are amazed of the equipment which is left behind. You can find a 3D sentry radar, a surface and low altitude radar, and a multi system targeting radar. For electronic warfare, they had decoy missiles and tow torpedo decoy to draw the torpedo away from its target. I think this is the biggest one I've ever seen. And there's even more on the left. Sweet! Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So that's anti-air warfare, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare and also electronic warfare. So uh, quite a lot eh, in this one ship. NATO secret. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> okay. So uh, only a few people could get in this room. And it's uh, locked. But we're gonna peek inside. 
Well, I think we can walk from the other yeah, side. From the other side, you can't yeah. also. So here's the NATO secret room. Perhaps just the communication room. What is more here on this side? Yeah. They took a lot out. Uh, yeah. It was uh, too secret, I think. Too secret. Hmm. I think we're close to the radar. Would be epic if it would be uh, still inside. I've seen another one and they took it out there. They dismantled it. Really a shame. <laughs> and? It's still there? Oh my god. Here you can hear the helicopter. <laughs> it's crazy, man. This. I've never seen something uh, like this on uh, a uh, Navy ship. We're on the big dome of the ship, which houses a DBRI 23 radar. The radar is operating an L band, 3D air and surface surveillance, and target designation radar, designed for the French Masurka surface to air missiles. Just uh, construction to hold this. It's really hard to uh, show in the video. <laughs> it's really big. Yeah. The DRBI 23 Raider is only installed aboard the French Navy's air defense destroyers in the Chiffre class. To turn it or what? Turn, yeah, yeah, it completely turns. Eh? Huh. Yeah. It's a very big insulation. Should we go next? We should go down because I think we're still uh, one of the top floors. Eh? Great start. This is the view of a smaller radar inside the ship. PC teller room. This is uh, this room is blocked. You can see inside. I really love the corridors, huh? You don't see them in modern ships anymore. But it's really nice for pictures. Oh, there's the kitchen. You can see, I could uh, get some food here. Here's the canteen. It's crazy they removed all the wood, but they left it in the iron work. It's actually not so big one, eh? No, no I say. think we will see uh, multiple of these. Because there was like a crew of 350 people, so that's quite a lot. Eh? We also find a huge kitchen with all the equipment you can imagine. So the ship is 160 meter. I have to figure out how much feet it is. I don't know if you see it, but it's yeah, pretty something. long. Yeah. 
So here's another canteen, but it's emptied. Hmm. Just uh, some leftover. By the way, I feel pretty okay here uh, for uh, having skipped the night. I've barely slept in the last four nights. Are we going to the left side? Uh, maybe left, yeah. Some uh, officer rooms, I think. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, the luxurious ones. All the kind of nice here. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah, for officers. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty luxurious, huh? For one guy. Yeah. Just one bed. Smelly, man. Mm -hmm. huh. These are the beds for the sailors. <laughs> Just in the corridor. Oh, here in the bow of the ship, huh? Just like 30, 40 people slept here, huh? Much more. Much more, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, Jesus. Crazy. Mm. Yeah. Would be really smelly, eh? With all the socks, stinky <laughs> socks uh, in the evening, yeah. I think they forget a few uh, <laughs> socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess we're gonna walk a lot of staircases today. <laughs> we're at the X ray room. You see? X ray. But, uh, the oh. Not here. This was the operating theater. Yeah. 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 Not much inside now. No. So you see, on each ship, they strip different. There's supposed to be beds here, you know, the special beds uh, for, for the, for the Ill, sick Ill people. people yeah. 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 <laughs> Too bad they're gone. In each ship you can find floor plans. They always come in handy when you don't find a specific room. We find the Maserka hangar. It looks pretty different than the one on Cruiser Calbert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many control panels, man. Each uh, got its own operator. Buttons with uh, safety uh, covers over that you cannot uh, push it. Uh. By accident, huh? Yeah, by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Fire or missile by accident. Yeah. Uh. It's uh, dummy proof. It's dummy proof. It's the panic button. Chaos. Yeah, it's, it's not here. Let's walk over there. And then I can show you a picture of how this normally looks like. So there was a huge missile hanging here. Unfortunately, there are no dummy missiles here. The Maserka missile was a first generation naval surface to air missile system developed and used by the French Navy. Planned as the primary air defense missile system of the first generation of French guided missile ships, it was only used aboard the two Safran class frigates and the cruiser Colbert.
Mazurka was retired from service in 2009 without ever having been fired in anger and replaced by another missile. The ship was also equipped with Exocet missiles. They were developed in the 70s and were a cheap and effective solution against ships. We find the control room for firing the missiles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were anti-aircraft, anti-boat, anti-submarine, and they could also uh, sure. shoot on land. Yeah. yeah. And you got a lot of these uh, covers to oh, protect yeah. the, the buttons. <laughs> you could do a lot wrong, huh? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Telephone rouge, huh? When this one was ringing, then... Uh, All hell broke loose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that leads also to compartments, but probably nothing to see. Yeah, I think we will go to engine room. Uh... Oh really? Well, we can try. Turn the oxygen meter on. Yeah, still on. I still uh, want to eat uh, the pump. <laughs> Show me the pump. <laughs> oh yeah. 29 degrees inside. Oh. Here, uh, this one was uh, running already with uh, clear oxygen, so. Uh, Sweet, yeah. Still, uh, so still uh, this okay. time we're safe. <laughs> the first time I enter a ship in the safe way. Yeah. Watch out because it's not so nice all uh, to go to. <laughs> Oh, at least oh, just. Yeah, sleeping, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More sleeping. We will see uh, plenty of those. A lot of people are huh, laying here. Uh, A lot, yeah. yeah. There are really big uh, rooms. Normally there were like nine people or something, but here there are like uh, dozens. Like ants by each other. Yeah. Cool. Oh. But here we are almost at the back side of the ship. There's a big tumble up or something, I don't know what it is. But oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, it's a clutch. Clutch? Uh, from something, I think. Oh, yeah, I see. We're at water level. Can you hear it? Mm. Dope. It's too cramped. <laughs> All right. Oxygen meter is still okay? Yes. So good. Sweet. We enter the belly of the ship, where we find the workshop, the generators and the engine room. You hurt your head? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, is it a generator? Yes. Yeah, for the electricity? Uh, yeah, for something. Uh, oh.
Crazy, eh? You can just uh, keep on finding new things. Postcard? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't expect uh, a card here. <laughs> it's a letter from a Navy SEAL who misses his second family. I don't know what it is, but... Uh... We find the control room of the engine room. There should be more uh, missile rooms here, really close, maybe a little bit to the left. Should be somewhere here. We find a torpedo hangar, where torpedoes were loaded and fired. really sunny but uh, it started to get really really windy we might have lost our boat <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe, yeah. and not a problem we still have to get back to the shore and well the current is luckily I don't know going to the shore but uh, it's pretty wild we'll see waiting for the Sun to set so we can get off the ship safely and hopefully unseen. <laughs>
Luckily, we tied the boat good enough and we get into the choppy water. Wet and wild. Oh, man. <laughs> A bit more challenging than uh, <laughs> the way to the ships. Oh my god, there's a really strong wind. After some struggle, we get back to the shore. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> some deserved pizza and beer. Yum. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, finally. <laughs> <laughs>